Hello, I'm Brian Coyle, chair of the Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation. On behalf of my fellow board members, it is a pleasure to welcome you as we celebrate our commitment to community. It is great to be here for this modern update to our traditional foundation event. I'm sorry we cannot host you in person and we appreciate you connecting from your home, office or mobile device. Our program, which will last less than an hour, will showcase the Educational Foundation's leadership role in support of Delaware County Community College, its students and its programs. I hope you enjoy learning about the many fantastic opportunities for members of our communities taking place right here. The Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation leads the fundraising initiatives designed to assist the college with numerous strategic projects. Our partners include college alumni, faculty and staff, individual community members and their families, foundations, nonprofit organizations, local businesses, and corporations of all sizes. Last year, those donors contributed more than $2 million to the Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation. Every gift demonstrates support for the vital services the college provides to our region. We sincerely appreciate every supporter for including us in your charitable giving plans. Your contributions help provide some of the fantastic programs you will hear about soon. First up, we will share the story of an enriching partnership between the Advanced Technology Division and a local Rotary Club. Relationships like these demonstrate how two compatible organizations can team up to fuel the pipeline to high priority occupations that provide family sustaining wages. Next, it's on to the Student Resource Center, which plays a crucial role in keeping students enrolled during unexpected financial difficulties. We will also profile the Center for Equity and Social Justice. This recently created initiative provides opportunities to educate students, staff, and citizens to become engaged leaders to address systemic inequity within our communities. Finally, you will hear from one of our scholarship supporters and foundation board members about his desire to share how community college education can literally change lives. A key feature of previous foundation events has always been hearing from our dynamic student scholarship recipients. During our presentation, we will introduce you to four students who demonstrate academic excellence and community service. These students are skilled at managing school, career, and family responsibilities on their path to personal achievement. Their inspiring stories will remind you that every student deserves a chance for affordable education. I also want to personally thank our Foundation Scholarship and Awards Committee and the College's Advancement and, and Enrollment Management teams for managing more than 1,100 applications for scholarships last year. Thanks to our supporters, the Educational Foundation has the resources to provide more than $700,000 in direct student assistance each year so our community members can achieve their educational and career goals. The Educational Foundation enlists a group of prominent local business and volunteer leaders who are dynamic advocates for the college within our community. It is an honor to work alongside such a talented team of individuals. Each brings unique talents and experiences to help us become more successful. You can see the full slate of our Educational Foundation Board of Directors on the college's website. I sincerely appreciate the, commu the commitment to our community in these leadership roles. Before I go, I would like to offer you a chance to learn more about the Educational Foundation. After this program concludes, you can contact the college's advancement office to schedule a meeting or discuss a new project. We're always on the lookout for new board members and potential partnerships. So let's find a time to talk soon. Now, I would like to introduce the president of Delaware County Community College, Dr. Joy Gates Black. Dr. Gates Black, who serves on the Educational Foundation Board has established herself as a visionary leader for Delaware and Chester counties. I know I speak for our board when I say we appreciate her efforts throughout the year to keep us informed on all the new college programs and initiatives. Whenever she share new, shares news, 
I get excited about what the future holds and believe you will feel the same way. Thank you for allowing me to provide this background about the Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation. I hope you enjoy hearing about our commitment to community. Hello and welcome. I have the honor of serving as president of Delaware County Community College, and I'm so pleased you could join us today and learn about a few of the partnerships and collaborations that are so important to our college. As Brian just explained, we will showcase some of those collaborations later via video. Delaware County Community College truly is the community's college, and we are dedicated to the success of our students and the communities we serve. To achieve this goal, the college has formed partnerships and collaborations, created initiatives, and continued to provide high quality education even in the face of a pandemic. During the early days of the pandemic, the college continued to offer in-person training for first responders. And with permission from the Pennsylvania Department of Education, the college resumed in-person classes in May of 2020 for EMT and paramedic training, as well as the Municipal Police Academy. As the pandemic put an even increasing strain on medical professionals and frontline workers, we recognized that we had a responsibility to continue to train others to step into these critical roles. Last year, the continuing issues of racism, discrimination, inequity, and social injustice reached a tipping point in our country. In response to these issues, we established the Center for Equity and Social Justice at the college. This center is committed to dismantling systems of racism and social injustice within our communities by acting as a convener to provide opportunities for education that leads to greater awareness, dialogue, understanding, and transformational change. The center operates through our Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at the college. This past summer, the college expanded its bridge program to help recent high school graduates enhance their academic skills, increase self-confidence, and successfully transition to college level coursework. Students were provided the opportunity to improve their skills in English, reading, and mathematics before starting their regular college level experience. Tutoring and counseling were also important components of the bridge program. The program was free with no cost for tuition or textbooks. 35 students successfully completed the program and 18 of those students registered for fall semester classes at the college. As the community's college, it is critical that we establish strong relationships with our local and state leaders. Over the past several months, the college has hosted virtually and in person state legislators and state representatives, as well as engaging in conversations with Congresswoman Houlihan, Congresswoman Scanlon, and representatives from Senator Casey's office. These relationships allow us to advocate for our students and for those served by the college. Seeking to expand our dedication to creating equity for all students, this fall, Delaware County Community College and Westchester University formally announced their Moonshot for Equity Partnership, joining as the Southeastern Pennsylvania Regional Collaborative. By working with Westchester University, we will dedicate ourselves to supporting those students who are most vulnerable, single parents, first-generation students, veterans, students from lower socioeconomic backgrounds, and students of color. These students often have lower retention, persistence, and graduation rates, and transfer at lower rates to four-year institutions as well. That is a negative impact, not just on our students, 
but also on our communities and our economy. By closing equity gaps, everyone prospers. Delaware County Community College is committed to providing equitable access to high quality teaching and learning that enables students to achieve their educational goals or puts them on a path to achieving those goals. These are just some of the many ways that the college is fulfilling its mission. Through partnership and collaboration, we support our students, our communities, business and industry, and the entire region. I am grateful for your continued support of the college and more importantly, for your support of those that we serve. Thank you. Hi, my name is Karen Kazachin, and I'm the Vice President for Workforce and Economic Development at Delaware County Community College. Our mission, like most community colleges, focuses on student success and making education affordable, flexible, and accessible. The degrees and certificates in workforce and economic development prepare students to be successful in career-related programs, such as emergency services, law enforcement, welding, manufacturing, and skilled trades. These hands-on, industry-aligned, competency-based programs lead to careers in well-paying, high-demand occupations. The education and training are only one part of the success equation. For career-related pathway programs, student success is ultimately tied to industry alignment and connecting students with employers. We're fortunate to have a very engaged business and industry community. Our employer partners actively contribute to decisions related to curriculum, credentials, equipment purchases, and they offer feedback related to the hands-on classroom competencies. Our employer and community partners provide internships and co-op opportunities to students. They guest speak, participate in career fairs and other college events. They recruit, and most importantly, our employer partners often serve as adjunct professors and mentors. It's because of our community partners, such as the Kelleher Family Foundation and Just Amir Foundation, providing financial support, combined with employer partners, such as Boeing Helicopters, Pennsylvania Machine Works and South Coke Corporation providing industry-related support that our students are ready to succeed. Delaware County Community College is very proud of our existing partnerships and so excited to expand these partnerships. Now I would like to introduce our newest partner committed to providing rewarding community training opportunities right here at the college. Dr. Catherine Jones is the president of the Swarthmore Rotary Club. They have created the Chester Trades Education Project or CTEP to address the unemployment and lack of family sustaining jobs for the city of Chester residents. It's also designed to address the current shortage of skilled workers in our local trade industry. We look forward to helping the Swarthmore Rotary with this important initiative that personifies their commitment to community service. If you would like more information about CTEP or other workforce programs here at the college, please contact our advancement office to schedule a future discussion. We would be thrilled to work with any organization looking to impact the next generation of our community's workforce. Thank you very much. The Chester Trades Education Project, or CTAP for short, is an ambitious initiative that was created to address two very sobering challenges. One, the high rate of unemployment, poverty, and lack of opportunities for the residents of the city of Chester. And two, the unprecedented labor shortage of trained, skilled workers in the trades. My name is Katherine Jones and I'm the president of the Rotary Club of Swarthmore. The club spearheaded the Chester Trades Education Project with the mission of providing Chester residents with improved access to education and training opportunities in the skilled trades. The goal is to pave the way for successful career paths to grow the workforce pipeline and ultimately to help residents of Chester not only achieve long-term economic security but also help them acquire and hone essential skills desperately needed to enhance and strengthen the community. This project aligns perfectly with Rotary's current theme of serve to change lives. Rotarians have always held a strong commitment to service and to community, and we wanted to engage with a partner who not only shared that same dedication, but who could seamlessly and effectively provide the necessary education and training to the CTEP students. What better partner to collaborate with than the Delaware County Community College, a gem in our own backyard that has always demonstrated a steadfast commitment to students and to the community as a whole. 
The college and Dr. Karen Kazachin immediately embraced the Chester Trades Education Project and joined us along with our other CTAP partners, namely the Rotary Club of Chester, the Chester Housing Authority, and Riverside Futures Regional Community Development Corporation. Our initial goal was to enroll 12 CTEP students for fall 2021. I'm extremely proud and excited to report that a total of 14 students successfully started the program this fall, and a second cohort of students is poised to begin in January of 2022. Participation in the Chester Trades Education Project is very streamlined. Riverside Futures recruits, screens, and selects the CTEP students and provides a community-led mentoring program to support the students throughout their program experience. The Chester Housing Authority provides neighborhood training hubs for specific program concentrations and coordinates internships whereby the CTEP students apply skills learned in the classroom to real world scenarios by rehabbing select Chester Housing Authority facilities. Again, Delaware County Community College provides the necessary education and training in the advanced technology and skills trades and coordinates tuition assistance. The Rotary Clubs of Swarthmore and Chester focus on spreading the word about CTAP, cultivating additional community partnerships and securing wraparound funds to offset student and project costs. As a result of the generosity of the Kelleher Family Foundation, funds held through the Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation cover the cost of tuition for this program. CTEP students, however, face additional academic and socioeconomic barriers. Wraparound funding is continually being raised to address crucial issues such as food insecurity, lack of childcare, assistance with transportation, the need for textbooks, tools, work clothes, safety glasses, etc. Rest assured, we are committed to addressing these barriers and setting up each CTEP student for success. It takes committed, sustained partnerships to make a difference, to instill change and to lift up a community. This is how change happens, and this is how we better lives and bolster futures. The partners of the Chester Trades Education Project are extremely grateful that Delaware County Community College has joined us in this effort. Hi everyone, it is a pleasure to tell you about my commitment to help students at Delaware County Community College. I am a proud alumna who knows firsthand our students' struggles as they maneuver personal and professional responsibilities while finding their strengths and passion. After graduating, I worked a few jobs before discovering my interest in graphic design. Soon after, I transferred to Rosemont College where I took computer graphics courses which eventually led to my dream job soon after graduation, manager of graphic design for the Philadelphia Phillies. I love my job. After 21 years, I still get the chills when I see something I have designed displayed at Citizens Bank Park. I take advantage of every moment to share my journey, which started at the doors of Delaware County Community College. In an effort to pay it forward, I have embraced the opportunity as a new member of the Educational Foundation Board of Directors and chair the Scholarship and Awards Committee. We work with college faculty and staff and are a part of the process to rank and review over 1,000 scholarship applications each year. Every time I read a scholarship essay, it reminds me of my story and ignites my desire to help students achieve their dreams. I would like to share the stories of four students helped through the scholarship funds provided by supporters like you and managed by the Educational Foundation. I am honored to introduce you to these four unique individuals studying hard in our classrooms, helping their communities during our program. I will present Viviana, an early childhood education student who homeschools two daughters while also volunteering to help families in her community. Daniel, a nursing student who eventually found his calling to help others after battling addiction. Gary, a creative storyteller who hopes to provide a voice for his community while remaining active with campus life programs. Tashia, a straight-A student who faces multiple daily challenges but still finds time to help improve college accessibility standards for her peers. 
I hope you enjoy hearing from these remarkable students representing the incredible educational opportunities available right here in your community. To our donors, the Educational Foundation sincerely appreciates your contributions to our annual scholarship program. To our students, congratulations and keep up the great work. One day soon, you will be able to say with pride that your journey to success also began at Delaware County Community College. Thank you very much. Hello, it is great to be here. I am currently studying early childhood education and my goal is to complete my degree and return to teaching children as soon as possible. While attending Delaware County Community College part-time, I have been helping homeschool my two daughters, ages 10 and 14, while also volunteering with nonprofits that support families in need in our area. Before COVID-19, I ran a small preschool in Upper Darby that welcomed unprivileged children of diverse nationalities, social, cultural, ethnic, and spiritual backgrounds. Due to the pandemic, I made the difficult choice to close the school. This decision helped me decide to apply to the college to enhance my personal growth and develop my knowledge of child development in their formative years. My educational pursuits would not have been possible without your generous support. I am deeply grateful for receiving the Elizabeth Cincy Memorial Scholarship. It was Elizabeth's goal to be a teacher, and I want to tell you that I plan to honor her legacy as a dedicated teacher so all children can receive an excellent education. This scholarship will strengthen my commitment to our community and my future students. I am also grateful because you have helped me become a role model for my daughters, as they see that success comes from hard work and determination. Thank you very much to the Educational Foundation and the Elizabeth Cincy Foundation. Hi everyone, my name is Donna Stowell. I am the Vice Chair of the Educational Foundation and Chair of the Fundraising Committee. I would like to share my commitment to the community as a local business leader. It was an honor to receive an invitation to join the Educational Foundation Board of Directors in 2019. I firmly believe that Delaware County Community College is the most important resource for education and training in our region. It has been an excellent opportunity to support my community while experiencing all the wonderful things happening at the college. One of those special projects involved the creation of a campus food pantry. The plans resulted from a survey of a thousand students at the college who reported that 27% had experienced food insecurity and 49% would utilize a pantry if offered. Those troubling results spoke to all of us on the foundation board. How could we help students who were going hungry or unable to purchase their school materials? We were soon thrilled to hear about the college's plan to create the Student Resource Center. This campus safe haven plays a significant role in keeping students enrolled during unexpected financial difficulties. The center provides free resources like food, personal toiletries, textbook loans, and school supplies to help students focus on their coursework and eventually complete their degrees. I am also a proud event sponsor because commitment to community aligns with our corporate values. In closing, there are many great ways to pay it forward by partnering with the Educational Foundation. I ask my fellow local business colleagues in the audience to show their support for essential projects such as the Student Resource Center. For example, the student you help today may be your intern or new colleague tomorrow. And now it is a pleasure to introduce Dr. Kendrick Mickens, Director of Student Outreach and Support on behalf of the Educational Foundation. We thank you, Dr. Mickens, for your outstanding work at Delaware County Community College. Thank you very much. Hello, welcome to the Student Resource Center on the Marple campus of Delaware County Community College. I wanna take a few minutes to tell you about my commitment to the community based on all the great things we do here. The Student Resource Center's mission is to provide outreach, advocacy, and holistic support to address our students' unmet needs. When they visit, 
we provide a highly respectful and caring environment, especially if they feel vulnerable. From Monday through Friday and on weekends by request, we strive to alleviate food, academic, personal, and other challenges that could jeopardize our students' ability to succeed at the college. The center is a vital resource to ensure our students are supported from their first day on campus through graduation and beyond. My commitment to the community is to embrace all students who each express different daily needs. Sometimes it is food. The following day it's textbooks, SEPTA key cards, or even spiral notebooks. They could also be dealing with a personal emergency and need help to respond effectively. Being an advocate for our students is extremely important because each of their issues are unique. As a result, we do everything in our power to keep our students from dropping out of school so that they can continue towards earning their degree or certificate. I am truly thankful to serve in my current role because Delaware County Community College supports students like no other in this area through our Student Resource Center. We look forward to expanding our service to our branch campuses in Delaware and Chester counties soon. Thank you to everyone who allows us to help our students. Your generous support makes an impact every single day. If you would like more information, contact the Delaware County Community College Advancement Office and let's work together to make sure every student has a chance to succeed. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Kate Sally. This is my second year at the college. I am a current paralegal student, study student. I also work in a student resource center as a student mentor and student success ambassador. I really enjoy the advocacy work and assisting students while learning from Dr. Mickens. A few things that I do include guiding first year students to make sure that their first year at the college is successful. I think it's important to help all students who may face challenges to make sure that they stay enrolled in the college. I recommend any student to check out the Student Resource Center, whether to be to access services or participate in the amazing leadership program, just like I have during my time here. Hello, I've been in the nursing program at Delaware County Community College for a little over a year and plan to graduate next spring as a registered nurse. It's a pleasure to be with you while taking a break from one of my clinical experiences in the nursing simulation lab here at the Marple campus. For many years, I felt lost. I tried many different lines of work, but could never gain any momentum due to my issues with drugs and alcohol. As a military service member, I wanted to make a difference in the world and for my fellow humans. I finally found a home working in the drug and alcohol treatment field and realized that I wanted to be a nurse. That is when I decided to enroll in the college's nursing program. So I soon went to work on my prerequisites and preparing for my entrance exams. I quickly found that when I applied myself, I got good grades and succeeded when facing challenges. However, once I entered the nursing program, I discovered that my time would be severely limited. I soon realized that working many hours would not be possible while keeping up with my demanding coursework. Receiving the Independence Foundation Endowed Nursing Scholarship was an absolute blessing. The scholarship funds helped me save on tuition so I could focus on important things like bills and other living expenses. Plus, we also learned that my fiance is pregnant. So in addition to school and work, I'm now expecting my first child. Financial insecurity is a major stressor for community college students. I was so relieved when I received the email indicating that I got this scholarship. If I could offer a bit of advice to any student watching, be sure to fill out the scholarship application when announced in the spring. A few minutes of your time can potentially help save a few hundred dollars off your tuition bill. I am deeply grateful to the Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation and the Independence Nursing Foundation for their incredible scholarship. Your generosity will help me honor my commitment to my community and follow my purpose in life. This school has so many great programs. I was so happy to find one that suits me. Come find the right program for you. Hello. I always dreamed of becoming a successful storyteller in high school, but did not know which medium to pursue. 
I noticed that there were not many storytellers that I could look up to in my personal life and the mainstream world of writing. It didn't seem possible for a minority like myself to occupy a space in the world of writing. I eventually found great inspiration in my grandmother, as we have always been very close. She would visit me sometimes and hand me a couple of her old composition books. I remember that they were always worn and showed extensive use. However, it was what they held inside that truly mattered. They, they turned out to be stories that she had written over the years. She had always wanted to be a fiction writer, but, but felt it not possible as an African-American woman who faced many societal challenges. That was when I realized, how could I expect to find a representation of groups like myself if I didn't pursue my own goals? I'm currently studying creative writing and computer science at Delaware County Community College. In addition to my classes, I am very active with campus life. I am, I am a member of the Black Student Union, the Creative Writing Club, the Latinx Student Association, and the LGBTQ Plus Club, and the, and the Pegasus Literary Magazine. When I am not participating in these activities, I volunteer with the Domestic Abuse Project and host fundraisers for breast cancer research in the ASPCA. My days are long, but it's worth it to make a, a difference in my community. I want to thank the Educational Foundation and Lucian for providing the Lucian Scholars Award. It has given me a second chance to pursue my career goals in the best and most affordable fashion. I also want to thank you for allowing me to honor my beloved grandmother. I have a lot of work to do and look forward to becoming a committed voice for my community. Thank you very much. Delaware County Community College has a long history of diversity-focused initiatives, events, and committees. However, in the last two years, we have really been able to do some exciting new things to strengthen equity and inclusion at the college and in our communities. Hi, my name is Simi Myers, and I'm the Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer at the college. Since my arrival in 2019, it was clear to me that the college was at the precipice of change and serious about implementing new strategies to help all students succeed, regardless of race, class, gender, sexuality, and disability status. It was time to take greater steps to make sure these things didn't matter when students walked into our doors. Additionally, it was important that all staff and faculty understand every person's value to the college. When looking internally, our focus has been on education and impact, always with the goal of student success. The creation of the Office for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion has provided a centralized space for DEI programming, policy review, and most of all, workshops and training for students and staff. We are consistently creating opportunities for individuals and groups at the college to explore critical topics around systemic inequity to help them become better leaders and more engaged citizens. We want the college to move beyond tolerance to a place where each person can be their authentic selves on the road to their education and or professional goals. Many of our recent external projects have centered on conversation and connections. Thanks in part to funding provided by the Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation, our Dialogues for Diversity series has brought local and national speakers to the college to discuss race relations, health equity, policing, and bipartisanship. We are looking forward to providing a continuous space for Delaware and Chester counties to learn and grow as a community and to expand the center's work through a non-credit DEI certificate program made possible by funding from the Foundation for Delaware County administered through the Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation. Currently in development, it is our hope that this resource helps individuals and organizations strengthen their commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. I'm so happy to be able to share all that we are doing and look forward to promoting all the exciting progress expected in the future. Special thanks to the Educational Foundation, the Foundation for Delaware County, and other partners for demonstrating their commitment to community through their generous support. If you would like more information about the Center for Equity and Social Justice, please contact the college's advancement office to schedule a future discussion. And of course, I would like to partner with anyone looking to improve diversity, equity, and inclusion in their community. Thank you very much.
Hello, my name is Tashia. I am currently studying communications here at the college, and I recently was shocked to learn that I have received the Student Government Association Scholarship. While we've all been adapting to this changing world impacted by the pandemic, and while I continue to face numerous challenges in the form of multiple disabilities, I honestly can't express enough just how grateful I am for this opportunity. Since 2003, I have been struggling with two rare autoimmune diseases, one of which is called Sjogren's syndrome and is in the same family as lupus, and the other of which is called neuromyelitis optica and is very similar to MS. Unfortunately, over the years, both of these have led to episodes of paralysis, chronic pain, and ultimately blindness. Now, when I first got sick, I spent a lot of time lamenting my condition and thinking about all the things I would never be able to do again. Walking, running, reading, swimming, all the activities I had enjoyed before. And I even found myself wondering if I was ever going to be able to go back to school again. Eventually, however, I shifted my mindset a little bit and I decided to start setting goals for myself instead. One of these goals was that I wanted to learn to walk again, of course, and another one of those goals was that I wanted to go back to school and try to earn straight A's, both of which at the time seemed incredibly impossible. However, I am both proud and happy to say that with a lot of love and support from my family and much sacrifice sleep on my end, I eventually was able to achieve both of those goals. Now, although over the years I've remained pretty determined, I've also had a lot of doubts. One of them being whether there's actually even space in the academic sphere for disabled individuals at all. But doubts turn into fears and fears turn into limitations over time. So I've come to realize that it takes us overcoming those doubts in order to create an understanding of our unique circumstances and hopefully to raise awareness of the different challenges we face day to day as disabled individuals. I've also found that it takes a community of extremely compassionate individuals like the community of DCCC, as well as the support of our families and loved ones in order to help us along the way. Now, unfortunately, the accessible technology that levels the playing field for us tends to be extremely expensive in general. But that is why the scholarship is so important, because it's not only going to allow me to continue making sure my screen reading software and book readers can remain up to date, but it's also going to continue narrowing that gap in education created by my visual impairment. Now, as far as my journey here at the college, I consider myself extremely fortunate in that over the years, I've been able to become a part of the DCCC community in a couple of ways. One of them being that for the past few years, I've been part of the New Media Lab, which is a student organization dedicated to creating original podcasts through and for the college. I've also been extremely fortunate in that I've been able to work with our IT department, albeit in a very small capacity, to test our school's website for accessibility for my fellow visually impaired and blind classmates. And honestly, it's very rewarding not only to be able to help my classmates, even in such a very small way, but also just to be able to give back to a place that has helped me so much over the years as well. So in conclusion, I just wanna say thank you again to both the Educational Foundation and the Student Government Association for my scholarship. And I promise to remain committed to my belief that no matter how high the walls or how strong the barriers preventing us from reaching our goals, there will always be support in the form of our loving friends and families, as well as in the form of extremely generous donors like yourselves. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Dylan Atkins. I'm honored for this opportunity to share my commitment to the community. Previous to my role with the Educational Foundation Board, I created Big Papa's Helping Hand Scholarship here at Delaware County Community College. Big Papa's is a fully full tuition scholarship for a single parent of an elementary school age child or younger. I created this scholarship to give back and share some of my good fortune received through education. I chose community college not only because of my personal connection, but because of the unique leverage and value it offers, I can provide more than three times the number of classes at a community college compared to the average cost of a full scholarship at a four-year university. I have a personal passion for and a deep appreciation of community college's role in our society. 
When my parents met in the Philadelphia area, they were both taking a break from college, still young and in his early 20s. My father had left UC Berkeley and my mother in her late teens had left the University of Colorado. Before long, they were married and moving to Portland, Oregon, waiting for me to arrive. Since my parents only had partial educations, they found those early years challenging. My father took a few computer classes at the local community college, which began his career as a computer consultant. His community college education turned out to be essential, as not long after they were married, my parents were divorced, and my father became a single parent. Separately, each of my parents continues struggling through the kinds of tough times I understand are typical of scholarship applicants. My mother waited tables and drove construction vehicles. She continued to work her way through a community college, then state college, and finally a degree in molecular and cellular biology, eventually becoming a doctor. My father used his new computer skills to support our family while my mother was finishing medical school. In my late teens, my father and I experienced some financial challenges. As a result, I left Washington and Jefferson College, where I had a partial but insufficient scholarship. This brought me to the local community college as an affordable solution for the next year and a half as I worked at a gas station, grocery store, and as a YMCA after school teacher, all while taking classes. Later, I went on to earn my bachelor's of science at the University of Arizona, where my mother was completing her medical residency. I have since continued my education, earning a certificate in accounting and finance, from the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. My certified financial planner certification and a chartered advisor in philanthropy and many other designations over my multi-decade career. Most importantly, I accomplished all of this while finding my wife and raising two wonderful daughters who now excel academically. This success story was made all possible by the opportunity of a second start provided by a community college education. Did you know that 30% of Delaware County community college students are single parents? Our scholarship is a great way to support a student's life and create a sustainable household, providing an example to the next generation, helping to reshape a family's legacy and prevent a chain of poverty. In closing, thank you very much for listening to my story. I encourage you to give back through Delaware County Community College. You'll be glad you did, I sure am. Hi, I'm Rachel Hunsinger-Patton and I am the Vice President of Institutional Advancement at the college and the Executive Director of the Delaware County Community College Educational Foundation. First of all, I would like to thank the wonderful sponsors who made this program possible. You have seen their logos all throughout their presentation. I'd like to tie together everything that you have heard and leave you with a call to action. We have heard that it takes leadership through the vision of Dr. Joy Gates Black, the college president, and partnerships and collaboration so our college can continue to meet the needs of the diverse communities we serve. We have seen that it takes committed, talented college staff members like Dr. Karen Kazachin, Dr. Kendrick Mickens, and Ms. Simi Myers, among others, to put that vision into action. And we know it takes financial support. We've heard from a few wonderful financial supporters who help fuel these initiatives, as well as from members of the Educational Foundation who manage and steward the funds entrusted to us. Finally, throughout the course of this program, we've heard from our students themselves. As future leaders in our communities, they embody the value offered by Delaware County Community College to our region. I hope this program has made one concept clear. Delaware County Community College has the knowledge, experience, infrastructure, and connections to empower individuals, elevate families, build up community groups, and support our workforce. Our work strengthens the very fiber of the communities we serve. If you are already a financial supporter of this important work, thank you. We appreciate your investment and we count on your continued support. If you are not yet an investor in our mission, it's easy. Visit the website below. Or as Foundation Chair Brian Coyle mentioned earlier, call us. We are happy to discuss your personal, family, or corporate values and find ways to put them into action for the betterment of our community. Thank you for your time. Don't wait, act today, be well.